What's going on guys? It's Icy Rhythms. Welcome back. And in this video, let's talk about Rockstar Games. Now, I've mentioned this before, so we need to make it clear. I am a big fan of Rockstar Games. I have supported their games, their content for a very long time. They are one of my favorite developers, but it is it is safe to say, and not even just because of this whole Red Dead Redemption 2 thing, but it is safe to say that after stuff like shark cards and things like that, that they're no longer a hero of the industry for me. I just, I can't, I can't put them in the hero category. It's just, uh, that's how it is. We're not saying that they make bad games. We're not saying that Red Dead Redemption 2 will be of a low quality, but the problem comes when you start using your brain a little bit. You start to think a little bit. They are coming off of the success of GTA 5, which is now the most successful piece of entertainment ever created, right? They, they have that record. They can brag about that. Something sometime may come along and defeat that, but with the way GTA 5 is still selling and it seems like the whole shark card thing is, is still doing really well for them, they will continue to make hundreds of millions and probably still billions off of that game for quite some time. So it's not like it's not like Rockstar is in some serious need of some serious cash or anything and they need to pool what they're pooling with this pre-order stuff with not just the special edition of the game but the collector's edition and we'll get into that in a minute. Now if you haven't heard and Rockstar has already come out and damaged controlled for all of this stuff so it's interesting to me but if you haven't heard the special edition the $80 edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 comes with some extra special content and Rockstar is saying basically that this doesn't really take away from the single player experience that they've created but like if you read the description for this content it seems pretty heavy it seems like it's going to be some it's not going to be some wash content like this is going to be worthwhile content by the sounds of it and that's where the problem lies you are not getting the full experience of red dead redemption 2 without paying that 80 dollars now some of you may be perfectly fine with just picking up the regular edition playing through the single player as quick as possible, not really doing a lot of the side missions or getting online or any of that. Some of you play games that way. You may be totally fine with this, but as someone that considers Red Dead Redemption the best game that Rockstar has ever made, it was a masterpiece in my opinion, last generation's best game, you know, and of course them being one of my favorite developers, this is, uh, this is shitty and I, I can't, I can't defend it. I can't sit here and defend it as a fan. I won't dam damage control for them. I just feel like I feel like more people should be speaking up. I feel like more people should be talking about this, but they're not. Like this is an issue that we should address. Maybe if enough of us speak up, maybe they'll change this and add that content to the regular edition of the game and completely do away with the special edition. I mean, we still have four months, five months, something like that until the release of the game. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind that if enough of us say something, you know, hit them up on Twitter. I've already done that at least once, I think maybe twice. I don't know what they're doing. Of course, they're not going to give me a response. Um, you know, I, it wouldn't surprise me at some point that they'll block me or whatever. But it's just, it's the principle. It's the prince. And then you have the collector's edition of the game, and unless something has changed, the collector's edition of the game comes with all of this crap that doesn't even look like it's of any high quality whatsoever. All of this crap, but doesn't come with the game. You've heard that right. Collector's edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't even have the game. But Rockstar wants $100 for that. They want your money, but they don't want to give you the game. So they expect you to give them, depending on what version you want to go with, $160 or $180 to get the uh, absolute full experience that you could possibly have and just get crazy as a Red Dead Redemption fan. 
almost $200 to get the full experience for this game. $200? I mean, we've seen a lot of crap. We have seen a lot of crap, especially in the last two or three years. We've had expansions to early access games. That's right. Expansions to games that aren't even finished. And here we have Rockstar, one of the most respected, most appreciated, one of the greatest developers of all time, giving you a collector's edition with no game, right? I bought the collector's edition for GTA 4. That shit had a lockbox, it had like a really cool, well made keychain. You got the soundtrack, had a lot of different songs on there from the game. I don't think it was all of the songs, but uh, quite a few of the good ones, many of the ones that I enjoyed. It was, and it came with the game, like the regular edition, the physical copy of the game was inside this collector's edition. It was, it was awesome. And that was GTA 4. That was 10 years ago. And here we have them now. 10 years later, releasing the sequel to what I feel is their best game doesn't even come with the game. Collector's Edition, $100. Please go out and spend another 60, but you know what? You should probably spend 80 because that's where all of the content is going to be. And this is probably not the end, right? The the madness with the the DLC and possible expansions with this game is probably not going to end with this. So I'm not even, like, part of me is surprised because it's Rockstar, but I guess I shouldn't be all of that surprised because we have stuff like shark cards and I'm thinking in my head, all right, well, they're on this microtransactions kick now and it's probably never gonna end, especially considering it's been successful for them. But Red Dead Redemption 2 is a different beast. I don't, you know, I love Red Dead, I do, but I don't think it has the same appeal as a Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is known by everyone. It is a household name. Grand Theft Auto is like saying Spider-Man or Superman or Batman to someone. Like everyone, probably people even in their 50s and 60s, some of them anyway have heard of Grand Theft Auto, you know what I mean? They would probably say something like, isn't that the game where you can kill hookers for money or something, you know? Something to that effect, like everyone knows what that is and this is Rockstar and that's why it's so disappointing and I think if enough of us speak up, then maybe something can change. If we don't say anything, if we just pretend like it's not happening or it's not a big deal, then nothing's gonna change. Like, we need to say something, we need to put our foot down and at least acknowledge that it's happening and that's my take thank you guys very much for watching i do appreciate it very much all the continued support make sure to click links down in the description follow me on twitter follow me on twitch if you like what you see give me a like if you don't like it you already know what to do you guys take care have a good one peace